What's up, people? It is the last day of our Just Declare tournament, and we are here playing match points against the robot. And it is day five, and I think we may either be behind by one board or close. I don't know. We could be behind more, but we're playing in a, in a format that the robot just loves and is real good at. So here, we're going to try to scrape together a victory. I think we've done reasonably well so far. But you never know until you see the results. So let's jump into this one. Four hearts is the contract. Ooh, our East player actually bid diamonds, which is uh, <laughs> which means the lead makes sense now. And also, we don't really have a choice. We're going to play low and hope that the queen is in the West player's hand. Uh, it's very unlikely to be working for us. So this looks like it's going to be two losers. And now the club suit looks like it has at least one loser and maybe more. But let's just take a lay of the land high card point wise first we might get some answers here always when the opponents have bid something folks just count the points 13 in the north hand 7 8 10 11 13 in the south hand and that means this player overcalls. they should have a really especially vulnerable around an opening hand so let's give them 12 that's 38 points even if they're a little lighter than that that's 37 so what we should know about clubs is the ace of clubs is very likely to be here as is the king of spades, right? As is most of the cards we're looking for, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to play low and see if we gain here. We did not, and, and we weren't expecting to. And now it goes ace clearing diamonds. And what do they do, though? What do they do now? They, they really don't have a good play except this. There you go. They have to lead a heart now. There's no other choice for them. I'm going to win the ace of hearts. And what I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to try to... Set up a spade trick and keep some hard entries in that hand. So here, here's where I'm going to try something fun. I'm going to play a spade to the ace. I'm going to play a low spade. I'm going to rough high. And now I'm going to make a decision. I'm going to play the ten of hearts to the queen. Uh, and, okay, so the, the, the heart suit did not break properly for us, meaning if it broke 2-2, two, two, I have another entry to dummy with that six of hearts. Unfortunately... That didn't happen for us. So now I'm going to make my club play. And what's my club play? Well, I'm going to play a low club. And I'm going to notice that the suit is dividing exactly the opposite way that I thought. That's insane. Um, Ace of clubs is not in right-hand opponent's hand. In fact, <laughs> this is so weird. You can see what's going to happen. They, they have everything solved now. Watch this. King of clubs. Now they have jack x left. So I can lead a club and try to set up a rough, right? The problem is when I do that, they're going to win. They're going to draw Trump. And then I'm going to have a losing club in my hand. So I could rough a spade now. Maybe that's going to help. It's not, right? Look at them. They're just sitting there to my left, just messing with me. They know I'm down one. They know there's nothing I can do about it. So here, let's just let's just let them have their tricks, right? There's that ace. And there's the jack, you know, playing out of order just to tilt us. <laughs> And there's this. I, I don't think we have any chance of making this the way this turns out. Wow, look at Righty's hand. They only bid once with this thing. Um, I mean, I could be totally wrong, by the way. I, I, lo I love when I say this and I'm like, oh, you're cold. And, and here apparently you are or I am. But let's take a look. What do I need to do? Uh, so, yep, fine. Perfect. Now it needs to be queen of spades. We're okay here. And uh, sorry. Yeah, I need to play the... Ah, I see. <laughs> okay, that's actually interesting. Look, if you play the jack of spades, you're going to get the stiff nine over here, right? So stiff nine is going to be your friend. And now it goes jack of spades, king, they have to cover, right? Or we're going to get to pitch something. So it goes king, we rough, and the nine drops, right? So now, <laughs> now we have a roughing finesse for the spade to, to my right while the king of clubs is an entry so so my counting originally folks is based on is based on this being kind of more towards an opening hand right uh, and and really that's what it's supposed to be except this hand is such a whack job it's seven five and diamonds and spades i mean i i would expect this hand to be three diamonds let's put it that way but it chose two i took it for extra values and now my my read is totally wrong right when i put the ace of clubs here 
I don't think I have an entry, right? I have. I, I don't think I have a chance to even set up spades because I don't think I'm getting the dummy with that king of clubs, right? And that's how a read or maybe an incorrect read in this situation can cause further problems because you're relying on what you've what you've thought about it. I'm, I'm not upset about that. I would kind of read it the same way usually, uh, unless I had some sort of table read if I were in a live situation. So here, uh, we're we're on the last hand. I I don't think. I mean. Obviously, we could have made the last hand on that sort of obscure play, a roughing finesse and knowing the club is on side, but I'm okay going down there. And if they made it, you know, I'll tip my cap to the robots. Last chance to excel, board 10, four spades. Did the robots do anything? They did not. Wow, look at this, seven-card spade suit. Let's try to take the maximum. We're going to play low first. We'll probably see Stiff King here. Two entries to dummy. No, one entry to dummy. The eight of spades is still out there, unfortunately. Um, we're going to draw that, folks. We don't need to leave it out there. There's no reason to not draw it. And now comes the question, what the heck do we do? Well, I want the opponent's leading at least for a little bit. So I'm going to play a low diamond. I, I don't I don't have a way to really avoid this diamond loser, folks. And with lefty winning this, I'm happy. Lead something, right? Let's hope that there we go. This is why we do it this way, folks. Now we, we are in like Flynn. We're going to play a low heart to the ace. Queen of diamonds pitching the queen of hearts. There goes our heart loser. And now two ways to get rid of losers, right? Three ways. We just saw one. The last trick, I can't pull it up because I've already played to the next one. We pitched a loser on a winner. Here's the second way we get rid of losers. We take finesses. Did we get rid of a loser? Yes, we did. We took a finesse. There goes one loser. And the third way to get rid of losers, folks, trumping losers. If you're playing in a trump contract, that's all she wrote, folks. All trumps in the hand. That's 12 tricks. I'm, I'm not going to look at the result. Please. Please do well. Are we are we winning win? What's happening? Did we lose? Did we win? What happened? Oh, we got destroyed by the robot this week. Gosh, embarrassing. They made both heart contracts. Oh my god. They made both heart contracts. We'll look at that. They made th <laughs> wow. I thought we did well to make one no trump there, folks. And then they made two no trump here. So they just demolished our robot partners at the other table. So this is honestly one of my worst results in forever. So great job on my vacation week to uh, to get the most terrible result ever. Let's jump in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull over these results and let's see how badly the robot crushed us. All right, here we are. Here's the results stream, and I'm just I'm looking at this one first. Two no trump down one. That's that's our. Uh, our deal there and it went spade we ducked heart to the king and and here's where we just did not make it and i don't really think at uh let's just start it over again sorry folks I, I don't really think if if they play correctly we have a shot at this one but let's see what the robots did at the other table because they happen to make it uh we don't ever have to worry about the auction on these folks because the auction uh, is the same at both tables obviously but here comes the spade lead they ducked it heart to the queen and king Diamond. Uh, they led the nine of diamonds, though. Did, is this making a difference here? Cash and king of spades. They played the ace like we did. Now they ran clubs. And what happened? Did they pitch a diamond? What did they do here? Club to the jack. There comes the diamond. They ducked it. They ducked it. Interesting. And they did that because they now know that left-hand opponent will be able to win this. And they now know that they can't be hurt by that lead, right? Because they're either going to do this. They always have a spade winner, but what do they do next? Well, they have to play ace of hearts into the jack. The robots can, you know, avoid this probably by just not pitching a spade, right? If they just pitch the ten of hearts here, they're going to probably be okay. Let's see if, if, if that's the case here. And there you go, folks. So the robot has, has every chance to defeat this, as usual. They just, uh, based on the way it was played by the other robot, they chose different things, right? So here, you know, our, our, our partners, who are the East-West players at the other table, just kind of let us down a little bit by letting them make it here. Um, but, okay, that was one board. Now let's look at the next bad board. Now this one... I have to go back to my table. I, I was sitting here on this hand saying I'm happy to to have made uh, just one on this one, but I did reference that you know maybe they're making a lot more because this was wrong for sure. 
and then once they start breaking open the club suit, we're just dead. So what did the robot do at their table? I'm learning, by the way. I want to know how the robots just game each other so poorly. So here comes the spade lead. They hopped king, and they hopped king to lead a diamond. Yeah, that that's something we could have considered as well. Oh, my goodness. So now they hop ace of diamonds. They lead a heart into the king jack. They get to lead another diamond, and it just solves itself. Wow. On block. Good job, robot. Yeah, I mean... That's something we could consider for sure. Uh, I, I think I think the line we took was kind of step two of that. So my, my line is here, hoping that the robots have chosen a traditional lead at this point. Uh, this line is similar because we'll, we'll see something from righty, right? And when we see this, now we have such a good read to kind of make this play. And, and for my money, I, I feel like we're in the same spot because we're leading a diamond towards the hand. We'll get that same sort of play. Unfortunately, that's not the way it went for us. And then they got off to the club switch, and we're just just done. So they're awful stuff. Uh, number eight was we were chopping action on the next two. Here comes number eight. Uh, and this is the one where we kind of guessed right, uh, but still went down. Um, and here it was just taking roughs in the shorthand. And also just trying to kind of get as much as we possibly could. And that diamond play would have been good for us at the end. How'd the robots do it? Let's see. There's the diamond. They hooked the oh, wow. They risked the finesse. They had seven opposite two and they're leading a diamond. Wow. That is super gutsy on the robots part. I'll give them that. So they took the finesse. They didn't get they didn't get punished for it, really. So now it goes King of Hearts. Pretty awesome here. And now, I mean, awesome meaning they, they kind of have this on the wall. Oh, wow, they played Queen of Hearts. And uh, I see. And they just now play a diamond to the ace, and they just set up diamonds, right? And now what? whatever you want to do, robot, I can answer, and I have an entry with the ace of clubs. Pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you can ever convince me to take a uh, finesse with the diamonds at trick one. But the robot knows the robot. Good job. <laughs> and this last one. Um, this is their four heart contract. Let's see how it went. Uh, same diamond lead as usual, ace of diamonds. And that's the one thing. These just declare tournaments, you're going to get the same lead as well. So it's you're always starting at the same spot. It's just what you do from there. Uh, same thing. They win the heart in their hand. Good. They now play a low heart to the queen. Okay. Here, w what we did, we did the same thing. We played the, the jack of hearts just to kind of uh, – it didn't matter. We we would play that or 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 the other heart. It's the same on block. We still have the three to get over there. They break, and oh, what I didn't notice is the six. Of, uh, the six of hearts wasn't was it an entry for us? D did they play the nine at our table? Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my table. I don't think they did. I I, I think they ended up playing low because we played the jack from our hands. Watch, ace of hearts, queen of spades. We roughed a spade, and we played 10 of hearts. Yeah, so so luck, unfortunately for us, the six of hearts wasn't an entry. And at this point, here's where you know I just went wrong here. And I, just a wrong read on this hand all, all along. The robots had a probably better read because they know each other so well. So it goes diamond, diamond, heart, jack, low. And now they, they actually create an entry for us over there. Interesting. Did it matter? Ace of spades, rough a spade. You would guess, yeah, it should. They're going to try to rough it. And there's the roughing finesse. <laughs> They did exactly what the what the double dummy just has for them. And now they're like, oh, yeah, well, I guess that king of clubs is going to be outside because I know that that jerk over there was 7-5. Now that I know that, I'll just do this. They didn't even need to do this. They can kind of have this read right now. But they're trying to just create that king of clubs because they know the spades are just good. Well, well done, robot. You just destroyed me. I'm on my way. I haven't even played my first national event yet. So this is really good confidence booster. For me, going into the Nationals, you know, 30% against the robot in a Just Declare tournament. But hey, folks, I'm not, I'm not ashamed. This is, this is sitting down against the, the, the robot that knows what's going on with the hands mostly and uh, has the guts to kind of follow through on their strategies. This diamond finesse is just the scariest thing ever, right? If you're looking at this with nine diamonds, you just, you just might go diamond king rough. Oh, let's transport over to that Ace of Hearts and just get another rough. You know, if, if there's three hearts to our left, it's just a brutal circumstance. So good job, robot. Good job. So uh, I will hang my head in shame till next time, and I will try to do better. Uh, we're definitely bidding next time. I'm, I, I have to get in there and at least have some sort of edge on these uh, 
these absolute AI AI geniuses at the uh, at the declare and, and defense side. So we will see you again next week, folks. If I see you in Phoenix, say hi. And if not, folks, check out those lessons on bridgelesson.com and all on sale for the next week or so. So get them while they're hot. And I will see you in December for some more live stuff. Thanks a lot, folks. See you then.